intercepted uh, 65 trucks at 3 a.m. They were coming from the sand harvesting uh, pits, I think, around uh, Mat past Matu, coming this way, Kanyonyo area. And I think they are going to Tika and maybe beyond. All without number plates and all carrying excess sand. So they have actually blocked the road and uh, they are refusing to allow the other vehicles to move. You can only term this on as a organized crime because you do not find 65 trucks at the same time moving on the road without a number plate and they were being escorted. They also passed some uh, roadblocks, but they still passed. Recently, we have uh, captured some trucks with the over 10 tons overload. Some of these loads, that uh, they, have, they have dumped them off their vehicles so that they cannot be weighed. But we are going to measure them using, the, uh, using uh, measurements because we could tell where the sand was and charge them. We are just waiting for reinforcement to come and uh, towing vehicles so that we can tow them to the police station. installing a virtual way bridge on this road. A virtual way bridge is a, is a machine that will be unmanned. It will be measuring in the vehicle at any time, 24 hours, and keeping that data. So we can use that data later to charge people. We have also asked the trackers to form circles so that they can get the rogue drivers and the rogue uh, owners of their roads. Because we would want them to comply. We would want them to do self-regulation. We now have a road protection unit by the name of Leu, and we are not going to stop. We are going to make sure that our roads are protected. These roads cost a lot. Mm. Building a kilometer of a road will cost around 80 to 100 million. So if we will destroy it within one night by driving overloaded vehicles. This is the money of Kenyans. Kenyan taxpayers will not allow it. Kenya will not allow it. <laughs>